Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Power Racing Series at Maker Fest. How are y'all doing this afternoon? Braving the weather? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Power Racing Series. We race from coast to coast with modified power wheels. That's right, power wheels. Those are the tiny cars that your kids drive for about a summer or two and they can grow out of it and never play with it again. We take those cars that you throw out and we make them bigger, faster, stronger, so much better than they were before. We take these cars, just $500, and we modify them, we hack them. We do whatever it takes to make them into a race car. We chop them, we drop them, whatever it is. They've got new motors, they've got new tires, they got new set frames, they got lights, they got bells, they got whistles. All for just $500 and a maximum of 36 volts. These cars turn into racing machines. And these are all built by amateurs. That's right, we are not professionals. We are just people who have way too much time on our hands and like to do something fun. And we race from coast to coast. We started our series in San Francisco, and we are slowly making our way across the country. And we end with our championship in New York this September. This is our fourth season. Or, sorry, our fourth season here in Kansas City, our sixth season overall. And the dominating team for the last four seasons has been Sector 67, but they're absent this year. And so now we got a couple of cars who are now the fastest out there who will be vying for the championship. Right now we got MIT and NIMBY, both cars on the east and west coasts, as well as Milwaukee Makerspace with a fantastic, very fast, Car, uh, Lotusaurus Rex in Phantom Power Racing, who's up there, right there on the grid. And Cartastrophe coming out of nowhere this year with a very fast car. I promise now, but not during the endurance. They were a solid mid pack racer last year, and this year, look at them up on the front row. Also, we had Cannon Cannonball Corbeal retire this year. She has won 15 races so far and is right now the reigning champion of the Power Racing Series. She's decided to call it quits because she wins too much. And right now these cars are going to be racing and they're racing for what? Points. That's right, imaginary points. These points go towards the championship and that's all they get. They get a nice big fat number at the end of the year. There's no prizes, there's no race money, there's nothing. It's just here for fun. So they're going to be out here and they're going to be racing for points. And they're also going to be racing for your hearts. That's right. They're going to be racing for Moxie. They're going to be racing for Moxie. And what's Moxie you say? Moxie is their boat. Right now there's a Moxie board going around. Hold up the Moxie board there. There it is right there at the stands. Right there, that score board there, or team board, has every single team on it. What you're going to do, there's a little button next to it. You're going to vote for your favorite team. You can vote for as many teams and as many times as you like. It's called Chicago style voting. Vote early, vote often. And we also have some fantastic merchandise that we have as well as the t-shirts and stickers and more available for sale. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, Liquid Ridge, for making this happen. All right, now. And also in the test this year is the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper right here, he's going to be watching for racing infractions. That's right, if anybody, if anyone takes this race too seriously, that's right, they're going to have to answer to the Grim Reaper. They're going to have to pull out and pull over and answer to him. That's right, because remember, we're racing children's toys here as adults. Don't take this too seriously, people. All right, we've got 30 laps ahead of us. That's right, 30 laps. These guys are going to sprint around for 30 mind-blowing laps. All right, Patrick, I'm looking on the grid right here just to see what's going on. Fans of Power Racing checking their launch control system, which I think is just pressing the pedal down. You start on pole today. Right ahead of you is turn one. What's the plan? Well, it looks like it tightens there. I'm worried about getting Debo. Well, uh, thankfully, if you want to have a stake, you can always go to Piedmont in there. 
What? There's a steak place inside that uh, wonderful train station. So if you get hit, you just pull over and get a steak, right? That, that's that's your plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a yes for him. Uh, Cartastrophe seconds for now. What's your race strategy? Stay alive. Burn out the motors. Not burning out the motors. You are playing the lawn game. You are going for the endurance race tomorrow, aren't you? That is absolutely fact. That's the favorite race. Yes, the team's favorite is the endurance race tomorrow. But right now, 30 laps, a sprint. And right now, it comes down to who's the fastest. So drivers, are you ready? Get a thumbs up. All right, track marshals, are you all in position today? I see all the track marshals paying attention to me. Track marshals, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our track marshals. We're going to help everything keep nice and safe today. Very nice and safe. Our track marshals working real hard. The grim is silent and ready and terrifying as usual. All right, most importantly, folks, are you ready out there? The more noise I hear, the more ready we are. Yes? We're over in this section. Yes? A little bit louder. Is Cow Cow going to make the grid right now? They're trying their best. They might have to join midway through the race. They're our current points leader in Moxie. I'm not sure why. So sad. They didn't, we're <laughs> we're going to get going. We said 1 o'clock. We mean it. We're already rolling through our time. 2 o'clock, Jim. You said 2. 2 o'clock, sorry. Two <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but I do know it's race time. That's what it is. It's race time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Patrick, I am going to turn it over to you. Yeah. Let's get a countdown going here, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare the race. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Second place, third place is Catastrophe. Fourth place is OMG. OMG with that and, and it looks like, yep, that's right. Making it that Phantom Power Racing first. Second event of card, Catastrophe under attack right now for OMG, Omaha Maker Group. Bill Hacker continuing on his way. Milwaukee Maker Space in fifth, moving on now. And it looks like Cow Car is joining the race. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Cow Car joining the race. Pitt's transponder is not working. Pitt's transponder is not working. We have a problem with Pitt's transponder. We're going to have to count it manually. We're going to have to count it manually. Pitt is going to be switched over to manual control. And our fans of Power Racing currently in the lead right now. In Benicart, second, third, Cartastri, fourth, Omaha Maker Group. Right now, Phantom is getting caught up through traffic. That is the story with these kind of races, folks. Not just about speed, it's also about how do you manage the race pace. And oh, it's getting them. The leaders are colliding. In Benicart on the inside, trying to take a lead. Not enough room. Phantom gets through. In Benicart in second place. Cartastri is right, trying to take advantage. Calcar getting through. Splice both ways, and Calcar's out of power. Calcar are in some trouble. They gotta get out of there. Get them off the track. And in Benico, the second place goes into the tower wall. Unbelievable, the Benico. Calcar has got to get off the track. That's what he did. All right, it looks like a local area caution there. And another incident at the top. And another third one. That section's maybe those marshals got to stop standing there. Get the car cleared off. We have another caution flag out. Marshals, help that car off the track. Don't just stand and look at it. Wake up. Caution flag is out right now. And Venicart, unfortunately, was in second place. Cartastrophe and Lotosaurus Rex are now second and third. Be <laughs> flag. They're coming around for green flag this time by, but they're stuck behind the golf cart. <laughs> Making the rest of the cars take a mulligan. And Venicart is taking green flag, trying to make up all the lap time it lost from that mistake. Phantom, your leader, Cartastrophe in second place, battling with the Lone Hacker. 
a hometown favorite here, but he's not from home. He's just a lone actor. And it is a little bit chaotic right now. Catastrophe. Hitting a little bit of ground, making up for Phantom right now. Oh, on, Maker Group in Milwaukee. Maker Space are fighting into that turn. Has she got enough room? She does. She gets through. And Phantom's already putting a wrap down on the Aventa cart. And Cartastrophe's trying to catch them up on top of it all. Meanwhile, Milwaukee Maker Space working her way around the lone hacker. Makes a clean pass to that Omaha Maker Group chasing her down, too. We have CCD Casey's team, car 911, currently, currently having a time, looks like about, uh, in fifth place. That's team in fifth place. So they jumped down that as six and then they just passed them. And Phantom's waving. They are getting confident there. They are waving to the crowd, full of joy. Omaha Maker Group, uh, their kit car is doing pretty, pretty decently right now. And Inveta Car has moved up to fourth place with that lap complete. Being chased by the leader right now. And Cartastrophe is not too far behind. We're getting quite a good speed out of Phantom and Cartastrophe, both on the same lap. Little bit of room there, oh my goodness. Cutting it close. That's time off of them. Cartastrophe reeling them in. Omaha Maker Group saying, oh, and the Avatar is in the wall. Oh, and Cartastrophe, the second place is in the wall. And that car, unfortunately, has to pull it over. What a shame. They were up to fourth place, as high as second at the start of the race. Dropping down now to fifth place, and go falling. I see, the, I see a Phantom talking with their uh, team leader right now as Cartastrophe is slowly reeling them in. Cartastrophe has not fallen far back. Ladies and gentlemen, that rat rod is number 48, first place, second. The beige, 404. The brown beige, number two right now. The golf cart, somewhere in last. <laughs> and by somewhere, I mean in last place. But we'll finish this race. It's getting a little heated out there. Oh, looks like something's wrong for the Kansas City team. They're, they're long way under power. Doesn't seem to be a tire out. And Cartastrophe's having a look at Phantom. Cartastrophe. Hey, is that a complete pass? Yes, it is. This time around, Cartastrophe is about to take the lead. It has. Unbelievable. Cartastrophe is in the lead. They have taken it from Phantom. 17 laps complete, 18 this time by. Phantom's gonna have to make up ground because Cartastrophe has managed their way through the back of the field and is now the leader. Car number 404 is being hunted down by a rat rod. Meanwhile, the field, Lotusaurus Rex, Audrey driving from Milwaukee Makerspace in that dinosaur car is in a strong third going down down the straightaway, third place for Audrey. And fourth we have, of course we have, the Lone Hacker, slow and steady, ladies and gentlemen, fourth place. And Omaha Maker Group, also still out there, first season they're in, first race they're in. They are keeping it together. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, look to the front of the track. Phantom, having a look at it. Catastrophe, still staying out of catastrophe. Unbelievable way working through the back of the field. I, I, I lost for words. <laughs> and that's not my job to lose words at this point. This is this is turning out to be an amazing battle right now for the lead. Phantom, oh, number one. Kate Car is running and have a bad with that. Car has to be there. Omaha Maker Group in a solid fourth place now. In between the two lead cars, might want to give room to Phantom right now to see this battle through. Might want to let Phantom through. I might actually have to use the blue flag for uh, Omaha 
Oh, we never used the flag. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who don't know auto racing, this is the sled car flag. It means that car that's out of the lead lap should move out of the way for the leaders. I'm going to get to use it over my Baker group. Letting Phantom by. Yay, he did it! Nerds can learn racing. It's awesome. <laughs> Wonderful work. I'll give him points for that. That was great. Good sportsmanship right there. And now we have the leaders, ladies and gentlemen. First and second, Cartastrophe and Phantom Power are going to do it out. Five laps to go, five laps to go. Only five laps to go. Patrick, who do you think? What is going to happen here, ladies and gentlemen? I think Cartastrophe might be able to hold on to it. I don't know. You might be speaking too soon. Phantom is looking quick, but you may have enough room. Cartastrophe needs more bubble wrap on their rear bumper there. And the slow car had that might get interesting. No, he's clear for them. Perfect. We are going to have a slugfest to the finish right here, ladies and gentlemen. Three laps and he's having a Oh, not there. Slams the door for catastrophe. We have two laps to go. Any one of these two can do it. Catastrophe. Phantom Power is going to have you another look. Here we go. Not enough. The red right flag next time around. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is. It's going to come down to the final flap. Great flap. One to go. Catastrophe and Phantom. Who's going to get the loser? He can push it in the run. Is it enough? I don't know if it's enough. I want to hang his head in my eye. Catastrophe down low. points. I almost forgot about the Moxie. It was such a close race. We're here for another one at 4 o'clock today. Rain or shine. Repeat my words. Rain or shine. 